All right, and back for a little more Magic Farm 2. And look at my hunger bar just going down as I'm standing here. We are going to have to work on hunger very soon. Um, we do have some bread, and we still got a few berries left. Oh, 21, that's pretty good. Like I said, these Natura ones will come back, but we're going to have to make the trek over there to pick them and keep them, keep them going. Uh, but yeah, let's, so let's we're, okay, so we're all right for the moment. So where are we at? We, um, we are ready for a smeltery and we're kind of ready to get out of this little hole in the ground and get upstairs, get a house built. Uh, I know a lot of people build bases, you know, just into the cave systems and stuff, but I've always preferred to get up top, get some windows in my base so I can see out, see the sunrise and set and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but basically we're going to need to get a smeltery going. And um, I'm kind of torn a little bit. Do I want to build the smeltery here or do I want to go try to um, get a house going first? And I'm just kind of thinking about which what's best. Uh, okay, one other thing is I did want to move this over and then we can sleep through the night and I'll put that pressure plate back in front of the door so I don't keep forgetting that. Don't keep forgetting that. Is that proper English? I'm not sure. Okay, let me pop this guy down. I'm going to need some more... Um, Flint. Oh, okay, so we used up all our gravel. We do have four flints. But uh, our little guy here is almost broken. Now, he won't actually break completely, but he'll uh, he'll get... Well, let's see. how do you say this? It'll say broken. You won't lose the item, and you'll be able to repair it. Um, so you don't have to worry about it just completely breaking. So that, uh, again, needs a bit more coal. So we need some coal. We need um, a bucket of lava. And here's how we do that in the early game. Uh, these will actually stack, so we'll make... Oh, I didn't know that. Clay plates straight across. Okay, if you do them like this, you're going to get clay buckets unfired clay buckets which by the way don't you know run across the map and totally forget that uh, you need to cook these because that would be quite silly and you'd end up somewhere without any useful clay buckets uh, so we're going to cook these and we're going to have to get a bucket of lava and we're going to have to get some aluminum so that we can make the um, the aluminum brass casts it's a lot of s's um, so let's do that first, and then I'll give a little more thought to if we should, well, actually, I don't have very many sticks, if we should build the smeltery here or move on and build it somewhere else. I don't want to get kind of dug in here too much with too much extra storage and stuff. So we may, may try to move on a bit here um, shortly. So that, that slot's usually for a bow for me. Uh, but we don't have a bow and we don't have any arrows, so even if we did have a bow. Okay, I do believe last time I had found... Oh yeah, we need some more gravel. Let's do that real quick. We had gone down far enough that the cave map showed up, and I think right back there where I was just looking will connect through to some other cave system. So we'll go do that in a minute here. We'll just grab a little bit more gravel and flint. And as always, we'll use the half slab trick to keep our um, uh, hunger up without having to jump all over the place. Or keep us from having to jump all over the place, which will help keep our hunger bar up. There we go. Our uh, food bar up. It's not a hunger bar, is it? Maybe it's a hunger bar. I don't know. 
So if I was going to bet on where this might connect through, I might say right there, because I believe it was this direction and it was down at like level 50. Um, so maybe we'll just start digging in here and this will get us some more gravel too. And we'll use the stone stairs once we get down there to get back out without having to jump a whole bunch. Now, is that going to open up to the ceiling? Or, or to the uh, outside one? Okay, good. We're set. Let's just get a torch up here. And uh, that was silly because we can't dig that iron. So we'll have to go past that. And then we'll dig in here. Okay, that's good for the gravel. Now, we get down around 50. I believe that cave map. I don't see it quite yet. Let's go down a little further. I think the cave map was going to show us that there should be a cave just over here. Now. That's still overworld. Hmm. Yeah, like I said, I don't really understand how it decides if it's going to show you the overworld or not. Sorry, I'm not lighting it up for just a moment. Oh, there it is. I went the wrong way. Okay, so it's just north, not just east. Whoops. Uh, so I'm not going to waste stairs on this. I'll just jump out of here once. Shouldn't really go back down there unless um, unless there becomes a reason for it. So it's like just north out of here and it's down away. So I mean we can go over here. Yeah, let's do that. Two, three, four. So if you dig four at a time, you won't hit your head on the way out when you're jumping, and there'll be enough room to put stairs. So you only need to dig three to get down, but the uh, fourth one just makes it nicer. And in this mod at least, that helps you skill up your uh, pickaxe. So that's something. And dirt. All right, digging for, for gold, for something. Where are we at? 54. I am, oh, that's a, so that's a bug block. And here's a way to find, if you just take an open hand or something that shouldn't normally dig, right? Here at this, takes forever to break that. If you hit a bug block, it, uh, it breaks quickly. So these three are all bug blocks, so we don't want to go that way. Um, nope, nope, nope. Oh, come on, man. Can't go through the iron. No, those are real. All right, so we wanted to get some ore, some, here we go. Finally found our cave. Oh, bug block. The other thing to note is they take longer to break with the proper tool. So if you're paying attention, especially with um, earlier tools, you will notice when you hit a bug block. Uh, yeah, so I can't break the amber. That's more bug blocks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go back this away, I guess, and get ourselves down to this cave. So right, we were trying to get some. Um... All right, this is a terrible idea, but here we go. Trying to get some more coal and get us some. Aluminum. 
Okay, spider. Not infernal. And not a zombie, so not going to summon the horror. What is that? Oh, just dirt. Speaking of the horde, there's a zombie now. I only have 12 stairs, huh? Well, that sucks. Should have made more stairs. Okay, so let's just get a little bit of light down here before bad things start happening. I always put my torches on the right, going in so that... Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, really? So, there's a... Yeah, you know what? I really should have liked that. Oh, man. Get away. Get away. So, we're dying. Oh, come on. Don't tell me I'm going to die from that. You get injured, and you move slowly, especially if you're hungry. Okay, let's see if we can get out of here. Am I injured? Slowness, weakness, blah, blah, blah. But we're well fed right now. That would be the uh, Deadly World. I don't think that was an e even an Infernal Mob. That was just Deadly World. Making combat a bit harder for us. Let's get our uh, escape plan set up here. So we can come up here. In case we do need to run, we, we want to be able to get out of here. And we need to set these up anyway. So, do this while we're healing, slowly. And we can go get some injured, yes. There we go. Up in the upper left corner, injured. Uh, while we're doing that, let's go get some more stairs. We'll just give this a minute and we'll get ourselves fixed back up. Whew. We were doing so well, and I, I just, I thought, hey, it's all good, and then Spider shows up. I was going to just block him off, and he showed up before I even knew what happened there. Uh, okay, there's the rest of the cobble. I'm like, I should have more than that. Alright, so 40 stairs, 47 of those. Alright, we're hurt now. Instead of injured, I guess that's better. And... Here's a trick. If you eat a berry, no. What do you eat? If you eat something that gives you well fed, you will um, heal faster. And I think it must have been the bread. <laughs> oh, hiccup. Sorry. So if we, uh, yeah, if we let our hunger go down a little bit here, we can eat a piece of bread, get a well fed buff. Let's bring a few more than that. We'll bring some strawberries here. All right, so we're... Okay, we're not hurt anymore. So we can move normally again. This is good. Um, that spider nest is bad. Uh, let's see. We also need to repair this guy and this guy. So that's cool. That's what I was just thinking. Gravel. We drop this gravel off just so we don't have it in the pack in case something bad does happen. No need to have to remine an entire stack of gravel, or almost an entire stack. Okay, so I want to get some torches here so that things aren't spawning around us. We'll just start, start like so. Use these slabs where we can. Uh, that was tin, so we can't mine tin yet. For one of the weird things is, for some reason, tin is um, a higher level item than uh, iron. So you go um, flint, and then okay, can't think. Worried about things shooting and killing us. A couple of skeletrons. That's a creeper essence berry bush. Those are kind of fun. Oh, a dog. We got a spawner down here? No. Alright, we'll leave that for now. This is fairly well lit. I don't 
I didn't F7 it. That's the bad, evil place. We don't want to go in there. Can't mine the tin yet. We can get some more copper. What, what is this? Rutile ore. Uh, that's a new one on me. Don't know what that's for. Okay, this needs more light, and I want to mark it with a double uh, torch to show me that it's the way up. So let's just take a quick look with F7. And we'll just try to try to uh, get rid of most of the X's here for a bit. All right. So, oh, look at that. More spawners. Zombie spawner. Okay. That's cool. Uh, let me do that. So you can see it, but uh, whatever. We'll come back to that. Stalactites are annoying. All right. Uh, okay, where are we at? We're out of coal again, so we need to find more coal, and we need to get down lower, I believe. Turn off F7 to find um, aluminum. So there's appetite. We don't really need that yet. Let me just leave it for now. Get some coal here. And like I said, we got to get lava. Hey, there we go. Finally got an upgrade. So, <clears throat> now that we XP'd up, we're, we're now on our next level. We're now comfortable with this, and we're 0 0.67 into uh, the next level. And what we got from that one was a plus one modifier, plus one haste. So it's going to mine just a little bit faster, and it's got a modifier so that uh, if we have... If we take it back to the... Uh, uh, tool station, we can add things to it. So redstone will make it mine faster. Uh, lapis will make it have fortune or luck on it. Oh, look at all this coal. Kind of hate to just sit here mining coal the whole time, but uh, we really need it. So that's that's starting a new uh, new uh, world. That's what you got to do. Uh, anyway, so yeah, redstone, lapis, um, you can put uh, diamond on it to make it more durable. There's a bunch of different modifiers you can add to uh, tools and weapons to improve them. And with this version, as you saw, as you get your XP up, get your skill up, you become more and more comfortable with the item and uh, you gain some useful abilities or uh, pieces or whatever. Hey, we dug in a circle. Cool. I want you iron. Okay, so there's no wood armor, obviously. There's no stone armor. There's no um, copper armor. You can go out and farm a bunch of leather and make some leather armor, which I actually did in my last episode. But, you know, leather armor doesn't do much for you. And uh, I think it's probably better to save the leather for something else in general. So what we're going to try to do is get a copper pick head axe, pick axe head. I'm going to say that 20 times off camera until I get it right. <laughs> try to get a copper pick axe head. And then we'll be able to, well, initially you'll only be able to mine copper with a copper pick axe head. But if you either skill it up or attach a monster head to it. Is that creeper coming right to us? I just noticed on the mini map there's a creeper like darn near on top of us. I hope he really is on top of us. He's outside. Yeah, he must be. Um, yeah, so if we get uh, a skeleton head or a zombie head, okay, and we broke it. Then uh, we can we can use that as a bonus. So now it won't mine anymore. But like I said, you don't lose the item. It just says it's broken, and you have to go ahead and add some of the material it's made out of. In this case, flint to get it working again. All right. So no shortage of copper, that's for sure. And this is like an enormous coal vein, which is cool because we definitely need to get a stack of coal or so. Alright, we'll just 
I was gonna say, we'll just throw torches there. I don't have any torches. Here we go. Uh, we'll throw uh, a torch down here just so junk doesn't spawn down here while we're wandering around. Is that our? Yeah, that's our torch block. Let's not break that. Okay, so salt is always good. Tin we cannot get. Grab a little bit of more salt since it's here. You don't say. Sounds like there's somebody right here. I guess that um, spawner is just below us, isn't it? So I would like to kill a, a zombie or two and get a... Uh, well, I think it's only a 5% chance. So I'd like to kill a couple of zombies and get um, a zombie or a skeleton head works too. Ooh, two creepers. And all I have is an axe. Let's, uh, let's block this off for the moment. And actually, if we can get their attention and then go back in. Come on, guys. Come on. There you go. We should be able to uh, beat up his feet and get him killed without him explodifying on us. Oh, it did pretty okay, actually. Not sure I needed to dig down there. Let's put a half slab. Uh, looks like it's daytime. All right, according to the mini map, there's a creeper above us again, I guess. Okay, too dark. Thought there was at least another creeper down here somewhere. I hear lava. That's good. We need some lava. Bats are freaking me out. Oh, if it was Dire Wolf 20, man, you just kill one of these guys. Oh! And then bat form. Away we go. Full flight. Yeah, no. Morph is whatever. Beta, pre release. It's not really supposed to be used that way, whatever, but that's exactly how everybody uses it. So there you go. Oh, we got water. And slime? Huh. I wouldn't mind a slime ball. But where are they? Ha! I almost walked right past that. Thinking about the slimes. Okay, aluminum ore. It's kind of that white color. Tin is more... Oh, there they are. Let's see if we can go get those slimes. That should be an easy kill. And I don't know if you get slime balls if you don't kill it with a sword. So we'll find out. We get a little XP. Yep, there we go. There's slime balls. So there's a few things you can do with slime balls, different recipes. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, that's infernal. Go on. And cut. Okay, that's good, guys. We got it. How will our hero escape this predicament? How? What? Why does the zombie have fishing rod? What? What are the funny particles about? Will he escape and live, or will he have his first death? Tune in next time to find out on another exciting episode of Magic Farm 2. Dum-dum-dum.